Each new day is a new opportunity to improve yourself. Hi guys, this is Sujata and you're watching Grammaring, English grammar for ESL students. In today's class, we are going to discuss a phrasal verb. The verb we are going to discuss is stir up. Stir up. We have different forms for the word stir up. These are stir up, stirs up, stirred up, stirring up. Stir up and stirs up are used in simple present tense. Stirred up, simple past tense. And stirring up is continuous, in continuous tense. Let us uh, look at the meaning for the word stir up. Stir up means cause or provoke trouble or bad feeling. To cause someone to feel a strong emotion and a desire to do something is called stir up. To cause something usually something bad or unpleasant to happen. If you are uh, provoking a bad situation, an uh, unpleasant situation is called stir up. There is another meaning for the word stir up. Disturb particles in water or air. If you are disturbing the particles in the water or air, it is also said as stir up. So, stir up means trigger, provoke, instigate, cause. Trigger, provoke, instigate, cause. These are the synonyms for the word stir up. So far in this class, we have discussed the phrasal verb stir up and its meaning. Now, we are going to use the word stir up in sentence. Look at this example. They are trying to stir up trouble. It means they are trying to create trouble. They provoke trouble. His speech stirs up the crowd. It means his speech provokes the trouble to do something bad, to react in a bad way. Next example. The workers stir up a lot of dust. It means the workers are cleaning and they are disturbing uh, the particles in the air. The marriage photographs stir up some painful memories. The marriage uh, photographs cause some painful memories. So far in this class, we have discussed the meaning and usage of the phrasal verb stir up. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you find this video informative, Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.